I've been looking into getting ThingWorks connected to Azure Monitor using JMX uh, just for some troubleshooting purposes. And in the process, uh, I've stumbled across this Java agent. And uh, we're just going to have a quick look at what can maybe happen if we connect the um, Application Insights Java agent to um, to the ThingWorks environment JVMs. And uh, so we can start to look at some of the requests that are coming in, see some of the data that's coming in directly in Azure. And uh, hopefully this is gonna be a troubleshooting tool that can help understand how the application is being used, where there's any performance issues that are popping up and um, looking at some things around database calls. So I'm just um, discovering this myself, um, but let's have a quick look at what I've set up so far. And we'll kind of go through the process of trying to get some of the other components in the environment set up and connected. Okay, so that's not what I want to start with. Let's start with over here. Um, basically all I've done is I've just done a web search for um, Gemx agent application insights and um, I've landed here on um, this documentation for using Azure Monitor for application insights and you know there's this codeless application monitoring um, approach which is really what we're gonna look at quickly just a quick start literally this took me five minutes um, I downloaded this jar file added this to the JVM path and um, created an application insight just you know, by going into Azure and saying create application insights and then adding the, um, the instrumentation key and the connection string in, into the environment variable uh, over here on the, um, uh, my unit file for, for ThingWorks. So essentially somewhere in here, um, adding another line down here to add the Java agent. And um, here I've got it in um, this opt Microsoft App Insights folder that I've created. And I've just downloaded this, this file here, this jar, and we're setting up the, the connection string up here. And you know what? That was all I did. Um, so one of the other things that I will look at later that I'm not going to do just yet is custom metrics. Uh, from JMX. So, you know, this is obviously from a troubleshooting perspective um, in, in ThingWorks, quite interesting to be able to leverage the um, MBeans collections um, from the JVM because we can look at things like uh, garbage collection um, statistics as well as even getting into like DB connection, uh, numbers of D DB connections and how they're being used. Uh, so I'm not going to look into this just yet. But just be conscious that, you know, when we're talking about um, Visual VM or JConsole to look at some of those metrics that are in there, you can use this same approach using Application Insights and, uh, you know, custom, custom JMX metrics that are collected and brought into Azure Monitor to be uh, analyzed in the metrics as well. Uh, so let's have a quick look at what this looks like so far. As I say, that's all I did. I just plugged it together. Already we're starting to see some things coming in. If I click on application map, you can see from the ThingWorks environment, it's showing me some of the connections that I have with the, the different, different services. Um, there's some live metrics that are available and uh, we can see some, some errors that were coming in. And basically from here, what I'm going to do is um, just kind of leave this run. I'm going to go into some of the other uh, aspects of the, um, of the system, specifically a T hub connector and get um, a T hub connector set up as well. So let's do that right now. Grab 
that jar. the Java agent to the end of the Java ops based on where I put it and we're going to need another application insights instrumentation key now this is obviously available over here if we look on the application insights on the overview we see the connection string is going to be right here you can just copy and paste this in I'm going to take that offline and do it over here So let's bring that back over here. Let's restart the IoT Hub Connector service and see if it starts. So it seems to be running. Look at that. We've already got some results that are coming in. We see it come up in the live metrics. And um, this is pretty interesting. We've got... Um, There you go, we've got CP CPU details. We saw some exceptions that were coming up earlier. Looks uh, like these are on the ThingWorks side. And if we come up with the application map, we normally should see the two of them talking together, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna continue building this out, but um, quite an interesting, um, troubleshooting and development a tool for us to, uh, to have a better understanding of what's going on across the environment and uh, to quickly uh, pinpoint some bottlenecks that may, be, uh, that may be arising across the multiple components.